Hi everybody, thanks so much for joining me. In today's video, I'll be showcasing our ribbon maker dies. These dies are designed to cut continuous end-to-end -end paper ribbon strips. They can be combined with our paper ribbon rolls, which are three inch rolls of paper that are designed to work perfectly with these dies. We're offering the ribbon roll papers in four different colors, white, red, black, and craft and the ribbon maker dies come in six different designs there are three that are wide and nearly fill the three inch paper rolls and then there are three that are narrower and they can actually cut two rows of paper um, ribbon out of one width of the three inch paper rolls and they're just great for wrapping around packages and gift wraps and you can also use them just on card fronts as well, since they are designed, each length of each strip is five and a half, not uh, counting the little extra on each end that allows you to create the continuous strips. So they're perfect for cards as well. So let's go ahead and see these dies in action. I'm actually gonna show you all six of them so that we can kind of go over how each of the different dies um, work to connect end to end in their overlapping. So I'm gonna start off with using two of the narrower dies. And since we can fit two of them on uh, one of the strips of the paper roll paper, I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of that and just cut two strips of paper at the same time. So I have the petite scallops and the star strip. Um, I like to secure them in place with a little bit of washi tape. Make sure that they're nice and straight along your roll of paper. Um, if they're at an angle or crooked, you're going to run into some problems as you go along and build your strip. You can see also the end of each die has more of an open space. The star is open here, the half circle there. Those are the portions that are going to connect end to end and overlap. So make sure you start with those on the top end of your strip and just go ahead and run those through our machine. You can see I have my paper roll here and we're just going to continuously feed that through the machine. So there you can see we have our first cut and it is still connected down here at the end where the die stopped so because that does not cut that end so allows us to then overlap those and continue cutting so i'm just going to feed this through my machine sometimes it likes to get a little bit caught in the roller under there so just kind of feed it through and once once you have it going through it'll be a lot easier that first roll sometimes it wants to kind of sneak under there in between the rollers. So then I'm just going to go ahead and line this up. I'm going to line up this open circle. It doesn't have any of the detail cuts. It just has the outer edges of those scallops. I'm going to line that up and you kind of, if you press down on that area of the die, a lot of times you can just kind of feel it drop into place and line up with the previous cut. And then again, a little bit of washi tape really helps secure everything um, in place. So we'll do the same thing with the star. This open star here overlaps with the previous, uh, the last star in the previous cut. And again, you can kind of just feel that drop into place. Make sure I can tape it in place with my washi and just go ahead and run it through again. And there you can see we have our second cut and our strips are getting longer. And you can just continue in this way until you have a paper ribbon strip as long as you want it. Our last narrow die is the small stripes and so I'll go ahead and show you that one as well. And again, you can fit two widths of this on a single uh, strip of our paper roll paper. And again, I'm going to make sure I'm starting out fairly straight. Now the overlap on this die is a few of these stripes, so you're going to kind of watch for that. I'm going to lay this edge right kind of up against where the straight cut's finished, and then look for these little stripes that overlap, and again, kind of feel for that sweet spot, and drop that in there. I like to press down on that portion of the die right there so I can kind of feel that drop into that spot. 
and again just having a little bit of washi tape helps to kind of secure everything in place and there you have some continuous striped ribbon so then you can just keep going and cut end to end as many as you want feeding this paper ribbon through your machine to make as long of a strip as you need so now i'll go ahead and show you the three larger dies first of all we'll do this large scallop I'm gonna again just use a little piece of washi tape to hold everything in place. Make sure that you're fairly straight along the edge. And just go ahead and start running it through your machine. Once again, just overlap that extra piece with the previous cut. Press down and feel it kind of fall into place and secure it with my tape. And just keep going until you have the length of ribbon that you want. Next up, we have the large stripe, which works just like the smaller stripe in that there are some extra little stripes that overlap from the previous cut. And I'm going to overlap those cuts again. This one, they're quite a bit bigger, so it's pretty easy to get that lined up. Look for that sweet spot, so to speak. Just like that, go ahead and drop it in. Secure it with the tape and run it through. And last but not least, we have our pinked stars. Again, just start nice and straight on your roll. And in between cuts, you might wanna make sure that your stars are punching out so you get complete cuts from cut to cut. And then we can just go ahead and line up our next cut. This one just has some extra little pinked edge that extends into the previous cut. So I'll go ahead and line that up. Make sure we're nice and staying nice and straight along parallel with the edge of our paper roll and then just go ahead and do in the next cut. And then of course just continue doing that same thing until you have a long enough strip of whatever length you want to go around your package or scrapbook page or other projects. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this look at our new ribbon maker dies along with the paper ribbon rolls.